Do you want to give it a rest? I'm trying to look out here. Hey guys, Aiden here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is going to be looking back at Hearts Business on Transfer Deadline Day. We brought in two new signings which I'm very happy with. I'm going to break down their careers so far and look at them in depth in this video. If you do go on to enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you think of Hearts Business in the January transfer window. If you do want to follow my Instagram, that is we are the Gorgie Boys and my Twitter is Aaron Fraser37. And without further ado, let's get stuck into talking about our two new signings. However, very quickly before I do that, we're going to look at the club's business as a whole during this January window. There was a number of ins and a number of outs as well. For the ins so far, you already know, we signed Gary mckay Stephen and Ormond Nangeli on free transfers, as well as extending Ross Stewart's loan deal, so he remains at the club from Livingston on loan until the end of the season. As for outgoing players, Ollie Lee, as we know, had already joined Gillingham on loan until the end of the season. Cammy Logan and Connor Smith had also joined Cove Rangers on loan until the end of the season, but given the lower leagues in Scotland are still shut down, they've not had much in the way of game time so far, shall we say. Lewis Moore joined our broth on deadline day on a loan until the end of the season and a shock move was Jordan Roberts joining Motherwell on loan until the end of the season. The relegation battling still went picking Roberts to bolster their ranks and try and boost their survival hopes in the Scottish Premiership. Now that the outgoings are covered, let's talk about our two new signings. Robbie Nielsen's first bit of transfer business yesterday was to secure the services of 24-year-old Dutch winger Gervain Castanier on a loan deal from Coventry City until the end of the season. The 6'2 wide man began his career at Dutch second division side FC Dordrecht. He would only make four appearances before he got snapped up by Eredivisie side Edo Den Haag. Castanier would go on to spend four years playing at the Karlsjean Stadion. He made 30 appearances and scored seven goals and claimed two assists. He would also spend the second half of the 2015-16 season on loan at FC Eindhoven. He scored five goals and got one assist in 16 appearances. Castanier would then spend a season in Germany at FC Kaiserslautern. However, he did struggle for game time there only made 11 appearances and in the end only contributed a solitary assist during his time at Kaiserslautern. In summer of 2019, Castanier signed for Coventry City, who at the time went on to win the English League One title. So far in his career at Coventry City, he's played 18 games and scored a single goal. Castanier is also a Curaçao international footballer, however he was capped by the Netherlands from under-19s through to under-21 level. I must say I'm pretty happy with the signing because he's a fast, pacey and direct winger who's been brought in clearly as a replacement for Josh Ginelli who sadly suffered that season ending injury against Wraith Rovers during that midweek tie at Starks Park. I'm glad to see Nielsen get a chance for target identified and then brought in at such short notice and I'm looking forward to see what Castanier can bring to the side. Hart's second piece of business yesterday is one that I'm very excited about. The signing of highly rated midfielder Aaron McInef from Shamrock Rovers. The 25-year-old signed yesterday for a fee of £175,000. McInef began his career at Northern Irish Side Institute before signing a two-year scholarship at Tottenham Hotspur. During his time at Spurs, McInef was a regular in the club's Premier League 2 development side and he got 20 games and two assists during his time at Spurs before returning to sign for hometown club Derry City in 2015. In total, during his time at the Candy Sites, McInef would play 106 games, scoring 26 goals and claiming one assist. In his final season at Derry, he would win the League of Ireland Cup, scoring the third goal in a 3-1 win against Cove Ramblers. McInef then moved on to Shamrock Rovers in 2018 and during his first season at the club, he scored in the FAI Cup final against Dundalk. Last season, Aaron was a key player in the Rovers side that would romp to the league title. He would score 7 goals as Rovers finished 11 points clear at the top of the League of Ireland. He'd also recently been called up to the Ireland squad for the very first time. McInef is an energetic, all-action, box-to-box midfielder. He loves to break from midfield to score goals, but is also not afraid to get back and get defensive work done. For any older Hearts fans watching this video, he's comparable in playing style to Paul Hartley and Colin Cameron, so 
You never know. Maybe he could be the next big box to box midfielder to grace the pitch at Tynecastle Park. I'm very excited by the sign. He's got a lot of potential and it's a very good deal too. I reckon he's going to be a great player and he's going to really make a name for himself at Tynecastle. Obviously, it's early days, so we'll have to wait and see, but I'm very excited by the signing of Aaron McInef. And with that, that's going to bring today's video to a close. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on Hearts Transfer Business. Remember to subscribe for more future content. Until next time, I'll see you for more very soon. Until then, take care and bye for now.